Hey hello everyone. I'm going to do a ring pour today. Um, I've done a couple of ring pours but I didn't record them. So I'll just show you the ones that I've done in the last few days. So there's this one which has got a gorgeous shine on it. I hope you can see that on the camera. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's all dried nicely. Lovely dried perfectly and it, as it dries it becomes even more vibrant. So I love that one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's one of them. Uh, and I did this one. This was just on a board. Just on one of those little thin boards. But it hasn't warped or anything. So I'm pleased with that. So similar sort of colours. And the rings are all nicely defined. Which I'm really pleased about. So that really does give a nice shine to it. Um, and I did this one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. The light is shining on it a bit, so you can't see the... And it's got beautiful turquoise colours in it. And it's... I just love this one. That's on a, a box canvas. And then my red and gold one, which has a little mishap with a fly. <laughs> It did look nice, but a little fly landed in it. So I'll try and repair that one, see what I can do with it, because I, I really like that one. It's got a lot of gold to it, but I like the red, the black and the gold together like that. I think it looks gorgeous. So the reason they've got such a lovely shine is my pouring medium. And my pouring medium is the Mod Podge. The gloss luster and water so I do two parts Mod Podge one part water so two-thirds of Mod Podge and one-third of water and it's really is quite runny but it does mix the paints just beautifully so there's my navy which is just my blue mixed with a little bit of black so that one my colours for this oh, that's a phthalo blue by Arteza and that's just mixed with some black and then I have this red which is actually uh, primary magenta by Pebio so you can see the consistency, hopefully you can see the consistency anyway, just leaves a little heap and disappears. Because I like for the ring pores, I like them to be just a little bit thicker so it keeps the nice rings. So I hope you can see the thickness of that. Just leaves a little trail and then disappears. And then my gorgeous, this one is the Extreme Sheen, the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, which is absolutely beautiful. And this actually, because it's the um, Extreme Sheen, it gives the illusion of um, being a bit thicker because as it drops back into the paint, you can see the rings from the luster on it. But it does actually just leave a little heap and then disappears. So I hope, hope you can see it on the camera. And then my purple, nice beautiful deep purple. And that's a mixture of two paints. That's a mixture of the Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet and the Pebio Oriental Violet. So a mixture of those two. And then I've got Iridescent Green Blue by Pebio, which is this beautiful, strangely iridescent <laughs> colour. Beautiful colour. Um, and I've got the 
Alizarin Crimson by Pebio, which is like a beautiful deep burgundy colour. So that's that one. And then Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebio. And that's that one. So all mixed up, all my paints are mixed. I've got um, my black here, which is a little bit runnier, which I'm just going to put around the outside to help it flow. So that's just for that. So I'm going to start layering them in my silicone jug. Oh, my silicone jug. I've got, um, for my the previous pours, which I just showed you, I, I mixed them and poured them into these little silicone jugs and they're fab because the paint just literally just peels off, which I love doing this. I think it's great fun. <laughs> so there's the paint. So you could actually use those for skins because they look absolutely beautiful. So there's that one and there's my, another one there which just all peels out. So saves, you don't have to wash it all down the sink then which I don't like doing that. I don't tend to wash my paints down the sink because it's not good for the environment is it? So. If you don't want to use these for skins, they can go straight in the bin and then your cups are ready to use next time. So I've got my silicon cup. It's got a nice little spout on it. Now, what I thought I would do is do some layers straight down, just little layers. So some of that beautiful orange. I try not to get the um, iridescent colours together. I like to try and separate them a little bit. And I'm just pouring down the side of the jug here. A little bit more of that in there. And then this beautiful turquoise. And the purple. I'm going to put a little bit of the navy in between there. Just a little bit. And then, oops, the gold. Beautiful, beautiful gold. And then red. I love the red and the gold together. I just think they work so nicely together. A little bit more red in there. And then I'm going to put the navy, a little bit of navy in again. On oh, my canvas is a um, 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going with the orange again. And the burgundy. Just going to do the whole whole set again. And the turquoise. So I've just joined Twitter, I've just signed up with Twitter, which um, I've never done before, obviously, because I've just signed up. Well, I actually did sign up for it a, a few years ago, but I had no idea what I was doing on there and then never went back on. <laughs> so I've signed up to Twitter. So I haven't got any, many followers on there at the moment because I've just signed up. So if you're on Twitter, please follow me on Twitter. 
and the link for it is below so um i'd be ever so grateful for some followers <laughs> so i don't feel quite so lonely on there <laughs> and purple i've also got my um instagram linked below and my facebook so if you want to go and follow me please feel free because it's always nice to get some followers when especially when you don't really know what you're doing on all these um different social media platforms like me <laughs> not very techy so i've got a bit of the navy in on top of that Put all that navy in because that's uh, going to be our outside circle so it'll give it a nice we'll probably lose a lot of this anyway but i am going to put the um, black around the edge first so there's our jug of paint so what i'm going to do is just going to do some Quite big circles actually. Um, I'll try not to drop the jug. Let's try and get in the centre. There's some gorgeous colours in here all coming out nicely, so I'm really loving these colours. Didn't get very central, but we can adjust it one tip. Ooh, that looks lovely and rich. So catch the drip so it doesn't drip back into your painting. So that's not a central, is it? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is pull this black just around the edges just to give it something to flow around. I really love doing these ring pours. I think it's um, one of my favourite paint pour techniques. Especially when you see all those rich, beautiful colours coming out like that. It just looks so gorgeous. So I've just got myself a new drying rack. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I'll tell you what it is. It's made out of a cot. Or Americans, you call it a crib because you talk funny. <laughs> we don't talk funny, of course. <laughs> so it's fantastic, my little new drying rack. I absolutely love it, and it holds so many paintings. So, what I'm going to do is just go around in a, a circle, trying to get it sort of evenly over the canvas oh there's some gorgeous colours in there not aiming to go off the edge of, of the corners particularly at the moment but just trying to get it around yeah and now we can start going off those corners just need to take your time, you don't have to rush it at all. And then back, oh, it looks gorgeous. I didn't particularly do the centre very well there, I've gone a bit wiggly on the centre. So, not a particularly good centre there, but oh well, 
never mind it's still going to look gorgeous so off that corner there So all these paints are mixed the same, all with the, just with the Mod Podge and water. I'm just going to turn that round. Oh, I hope you can see how lovely and rich this looks. And then I'm going to go off without dropping it, hopefully, off that corner there. That is looking very very pretty back again and then off that corner see it takes so long to mix all these paints it takes ages and then you put them all on five minutes later it's done <laughs> I'm going to tip some of this off here I think because I'm really I'm liking this bit around this side so I'm just going to tip a little bit off that edge and then come back stretched all these out nicely yeah I don't mind if that isn't central actually that little squiggly bit I'm going to try to do something with that center I'm not happy with that little squiggly thing so I'm going to just try and do something with that. But I quite like that, how that is looking. I'll just wipe my hands. There's that little corner to touch up there. A couple of little corners need just touching up, but that's fine. Just touch those up. Now, that, that centre doesn't look right, does it? What do you think? Let me know, because I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I don't think you can tell me. Please tell me. <laughs> so what should I do with that centre? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So shall I go gold? You know what I'll do while I think about it? Because I'm not going to be tipping it anymore. I'm going to give it a torch. Fabulous. Fabulous. With my super duper new torch. <laughs> I love it. I love this torch. I have to show you it because I'm so in love with this torch because it's adjustable. So you can adjust it right down. Like that. All right up. It's got quite a bit of power and you can also lock it off so you can take your hand off the button, take your thumb off the button. So I love it. My new torch, I'll link that below so you can see which one I bought. Because I really do rate this one. I've had a few torches. But I do like this one, I like it a lot. So what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> I need a little, little popsicle stick here. 
see what it happens if we just give it a little twizzle in the middle to start with. Well, that's looking a bit better than it was, I think. I think I might put give that a wipe. I think I might put a little bit of gold in the middle. Maybe a little bit of red and a little bit of gold. What do you think? I don't want to go too much with it, but and I don't want to drip on my painting either. Don't drip on my painting. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> and then give it a little twizzle. A little twizzle. And pop some of those other colours through it. I think that's better. What do you think? I think it ties it in with the gold around the edge. So I quite like that. You get a little um, cocktail stick. Don't keep messing with it, Tilly. <laughs> Is that what you're shouting? <laughs> Don't keep messing with it. Leave it alone. Walk away. walk away. I can't. We always have to mess with them, don't we? It takes it away from the ring pour a bit, but I quite like that. So what do you think? Have I got all my need to do these little corners. Let me get a little... I'll use one of these sticks that I've used before. And just get a bit of this from down here and put on those corners. There's this nice colour in there. Don't want to get the muddy paint. But that looks really quite nice and matches that corner. And the same with this one here. Don't take it over the painting because we don't want to drip on it. There. I think I know there's a little bit on that one that's touching it. And I think we're there. There. I think I want to get rid of a bit more of this here. What do you think? Am I going to spoil it? Tip it a little bit that way. <laughs> oh, Tilly Douglas. You just can't leave things alone. See, that's opening those up nicely now, Dan. I don't want to put my hand over the top of it, but over here, that's opening them up nicely. I think that looks better. And you see now seeing more of the turquoise in with that orange. And I'm going to take it that way a little bit as well. See, I did think I'd finished tipping, didn't I? <laughs> 
just can't leave it alone. There. Because we can't leave too much paint on the canvas, can we? Otherwise, we're going to um, end up with problems. So, I like that. Yes, I think that did need that extra tip in there, you know. So I can't keep tipping it this way, that way, and the other way, and backwards and forwards. If you do, you end up with a muddy mess. So you do have to be careful. But I think we're all right. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Oh, that looks lovely. That does look lovely. Now I'm thinking, do I want to take some off this corner? Which I think I might. Just take some off that edge. Because I'm really liking how these rings are opening them up. There, and back. I love how these have all opened up like this. I'm just going to take that back a bit. And I'm going to leave it there. I love it. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Do you like it? Oh, I think it looks pretty. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. And then you can be, you'll be able to see a bit more of how I can see it. Because I know the light's shining on it a bit, so it's a bit of a struggle to see it. So I'm going to bring you down and try not to drop the camera or my phone in the paint. So here's the close-up of it. I'm sorry I've got the light above it's my strip light in my studio so i'm going to tip it on its side a little bit like that angle it you can see it a bit better see all the lines are nicely defined i think it looks so gorgeous you can see the shimmer from the the beautiful 24 karat gold for the, the extreme sheen and obviously I used a couple of iridescent colours in there. The orange and the turquoise. So I think it's turned out really rather nice. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Um, click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out new videos and share and comment and all that good stuff all helps us little YouTubers so I've had some lovely new subscribers so I really do appreciate every single one of you so thank you ever so much for subscribing to my little channel and please don't forget to go and um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you've got those because I'm really only just started on Twitter and I'm not really sure what I'm doing at the moment but <laughs> I'm getting there <laughs> but doesn't it look gorgeous beautiful pop of colour with the orange and the turquoise I think it just looks super So, I hope this has inspired you to have a go at the ring pour because it's one of the easier techniques, I think. So if you're just starting out, do give it a go because I really do think you'll enjoy it. I love doing the ring pours and I, I hope you will too. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.